Hey guys, what's up? Jake Trains here, and today I'll be showing you how to make train wheels for uh, Minecraft, and yeah. And the wheels I wanted to make were just some basic ones, like, okay, let me show you how to make the ones that'll go on your train cars. All you will need is, let me find it, let me find it. Okay, all you need it just go to concrete, find black concrete, then just go to buttons or items, and then go to buttons, get the stone buttons, and then go to construction, then get cobblestone wall. So it's pretty basic, basically. Just wanna go like that. Go like go like that. Go like that. Go like that. Like that, and then go like this. So let's get rid of that. Oh, whoops. Okay. Now this is the type of train wheels that will go on your, on your your train cars. I mean, these are just pretty basic. If you want to make them, how you can make them however you want to. But usually, what I do when I'm making them, I, I usually just take stone a stone slab and just like do this so at least it looks kind of more realistic you can you can make it however you want to so let's make it like this another cool thing that I thought of the other day was uh, if you take where is it yeah, if you get a item frame and then you get that would be an item wouldn't it yeah, and then you get rails, actually. And all you gotta do is just stick them right here. And just... Oops, wrong thing. Just do that. I mean, you can do that, but... I mean, I thought it kind of looked cool, but you don't have to do, do that. So that's kind of just like the basic way uh, you can make them. Or uh, there's another way you can make them... Uh, which I'm not going to show you in this video, but, uh, it's like Crafty Fox's way. He makes them different, but I'm not going to make those in this video because that's, I didn't think of that, so. Okay, now I'm going to show you, show you how to make truck wheels for going under your locomotives. So, you can either, okay, yeah, so you need to grab, where is it? Okay, and go to nature. Grab stone, <clears throat> and then go to construction, and then go to here, grab one of these guys, uh, where is it, it would be up here, yeah, grab one of this, and then grab, go to items, just all you need to do is grab another button like that and you'll see here that I've done it like this which this is uh, for six actual actual units so yeah hold on let me get some these guys yeah there you go so this is if I'm gonna show you how to make the six actual version which would be this because it's an SD40 and then yeah you can make those which here I'll just do it like this just simply just Put it on the ground. Do that. And I'm try I try to make them the most realistic as they look. But also the color changes depending on the kind of local locomotive. Like Union Pacific is usually just have a gray. But BNSF may have it black. So and then just do this. And just do that. Now, just a quick mention. You can make this any any size you want. Uh, you can even, like, okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 11. So you can scale it down to however you, much, however you want it to. 
So this is a six axle. You can use this on the SD40, or you can use this on a SD70 Ace or something like that. Uh, you don't have to make it this way. I mean, like I said, you you don't even have to watch this video. You can just make it however you want to. Yeah, there's that way, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the uh four axle version, which would be on a GB40 or something like that. You just do this. It's kind of just like a smaller version. Just do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Right here, I'm just gonna go like that. Go like that. Uh, where's the buttons? Which, yeah, well, when you're making it, you can either just go like that, or sometimes I just like to go like that and just leave it. So, yeah, that's for the trucks. So this is for uh, four axle and this is six axle units, which I think they look pretty good. I mean, they could be a lot better, but I think they look good. Over here's your wheels, and so that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and please tune in to the next video. Thank you for watching, and bye.